Welcome back to the educational video series with the Wapello County Conservation Board. We are another week into summer, which means it's a little bit warmer out in the prairie, and that also means new flowers. Uh, you might be able to see that there are still some yellow pecoon flowers behind me here at Eddyville. Uh, if you can't see that, I can. Uh, but what we're going to talk about today is the pale purple cone flower. And it's, it gets its name because it's got a cone, so cone flower, pale purple, because of the color of those petals. There are about 12 to 20 petals on this flower, and even though there's all those petals, it doesn't give off much of a scent. But it is attractive to a lot of pollinators, especially bees. Just since we've been out here today, I've seen at least four species of bees, not to mention flies, butterflies, wasps visiting these plants. So the nectar in these plants must be really good. Later in the, in the summer, after they're done blooming, they'll make their seeds, of course, and some birds will eat those seeds. So they do serve a purpose. Before they bloom, they are actually very easy to pick out uh, because they have these very rough or hairy leaves and stems. So if you see a hairy plant with a nice long leaf like this, chances are that's gonna be your purple cone flower. Great for a front yard planting if you have a prairie at home. It does have a little bit of a chance to spread if you don't keep track of it, uh, but it is a good plant to put out in your in your front yard garden is what I would call it, your pollinator plot. Um, it has other names. You may know it by echinacea. Echinacea is used to cure sore throats still. Uh, some Native Americans used it to cure uh, the snake bite from a poisonous snake. Uh, they used it for toothaches. They'd chew the root. They would use it to cure headaches. Uh, they actually also used it to cure distemper in horses. So this has a lot of uses. As always, I will say, don't try this at home without the proper training uh, and knowing what you're doing. And don't come out here and pick all of our cone flowers because you think it's gonna make you healthy. Uh, it is illegal to come out here and harvest these, so don't do it. I also read that another way some Native Americans use this plant was to um, kind of keep them from feeling heat as much. So it is said that medicine men would use the juice of this plant and they'd kind of bathe their arms and hands with it. And then they would reach into a boiling stew to take out meat. And they could do that without gloves or anything like that because they had used this juice, supposedly. I also read that they used it before they went into sweat houses uh, so they could hold hot coals or put hot rocks in their mouth and they wouldn't feel the heat. Again, don't try this at home, uh, but it is something that I read. If you do wanna see this, this plant in bloom, it'll bloom anywhere from May and sometimes into the fall, August, September. October if we're really lucky, but probably September at the latest. And you can find it in all kinds of prairies. The dry prairie like here at Eddyville, uh, at uh, Piney Ridge Nature Area, there's a lot of it. So you're gonna find it if you're looking for it. And it is a great plant for attracting animals. If you do want to plant it, they say it's deer resistant, although I've seen them eat mine, so I don't believe that. They are drought resistant though, so you don't have to worry about watering too much as soon as they're, they're put in. So while you're out this summer, uh, into the fall, just you know, take a look around. I'm sitting in a place in Eddyville that I've never visited. I didn't even know there was this many cone flowers here in the Eddyville Sand Prairie. So you never know what you can find. And if you just get off the beaten path, take a little walk through the prairie, you might find this. You might find some animals visiting this plant, plus everything else that's going on out here. So just get outside, take a walk, relax a little, don't think about all the other stuff that's going on. And until next week, enjoy the view.